How you doing? How you doing? And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Petty, and I appreciate you stopping by today. And today, we're going to take a look at squad power. Now, this is one of the most important things that you can work on in this entire game. Uh, because essentially, there are part of the story mode quests that are essentially locked behind hitting certain levels of, of squad level. It is super, super important, and it's an interesting system. So we're going to talk a little bit about it and then kind of go through uh, the ways that you can essentially level it up and kind of try to get around as many of these roadblocks as possible. Because as a free-to-play, you're going to have to do some work to not get stopped in your tracks. Um, I ran into at least a couple at this point that have required me to basically stop go back and farm stuff sometimes for hours to be able to hit some of these and get the squad uh, experience that I need because it's a little bit hard to track down so let's go ahead and take a look at it so I've got my alt here we're playing Black Widow as a side character we're gonna make a whole nother video about that because this is an amazing woman to level as your second character <laughs> So real quick for those of you that haven't got a chance to play the game at all yet and aren't sure what we're really talking about. This thing up here in the top, in the middle, there's a reason it's there and it's because it's one of the most important things in the game. Again, it locks you behind mechanics. But what it also does is provide power-ups to your entire team. So if you level, say, a character up to where I'm at right now in the mid 60s, you, you go get a nice little bit of squad power. And if you wait until that late stage to start an ult, you're getting a lot of power that you're pumping into them um, through upgrades with these, which is nice. That's cool. I appreciate that. <sighs> it really, really, really makes an impact, especially if you get deep in with your initial main character before you start using your alts. Now, some of the most <sighs> important ways for you to grind out on your main is gonna be stuff from your records. If you go to your activity log, maxing these out on your main character, it's gonna be super important. At least collecting the rewards is going to be, oh, it won't show us what the old rewards are. So if we go to Midgardia, uh, which it won't let me because I don't have that unlocked on this character. Crap. <laughs> so for imagination's sake uh if we come down here to the bottom there's gonna be a place where you can essentially hit a little exclamation point or question mark and it'll show you at all the different increments that you'll get rewards from completing these uh essentially there's missions side missions most wanted villain logs a lot of good stuff in here as you're filling this up in certain increments, say if you're at, you know, 50 out of the 173, there's a good chance you're going to get some rewards for getting to that milestone. They don't do it every 10 levels or anything like that, but you want to keep an eye on when your next reward is going to be coming from this uh, and be able to work through these. Now, one of the most effective ways to kind of handle this and knock a lot of these out when you're going through and finish up all the story missions in an area grab some of these go knock them out bing bang boom you're done <sighs> most wanted's are very 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 difficult so new stark city it, it's not that bad we only have to kill this man two times to be able to get that completion uh once we get into hydra yeah, it jumps up a little bit, and just a little bit, because it jumps up even more with Xandarth, and I guarantee you Migardia as well, though I can't tell you those numbers off the top of my head. But once you get into, like, Hydra, it, it, you're gonna have to kill Red Skull, like, ten times, and he don't like to pop up a whole lot. So it very quickly becomes more difficult to complete these out. That's why keeping an eye track of where you are in the progression of them is really, really helpful in trying to maximize your squad power. Because some of these are realistic and easy things for you to knock out. And some of them are, okay, this is either going to take me a couple hours and I know that I can get more value out of my playtime doing something else. And I'll just put a pin in this for right now. You want to make sure that, you know, you're not spending four hours hunting Red Skull so that you can get the bonus experience that they give you from completing that all the way. It's a nice little bit of experience, but you got a couple other avenues, okay? So next thing up, let's talk about operations. These are where you are going to get your daily 
easy amounts essentially uh, with blitz it starts off pretty low uh, but as you keep going up you get more and more for each run and you can run each of these three times a day themselves so even if you're a big old level 60 do not just run red hand once every day you need to do your max runs of all of these because honestly your squad power is that important and you really really need to be working on that so outside of operations that's all good and well there i believe you can get some from arena but it's not going to be a super super crazy amount one of the other things that you want to kind of keep track of, and while there's a lot of great missions and stuff in here, like the Fury missions, for instance, yet yeah, none of these are going to give you squad power. So I'm not saying ignore them, but they're not going to be what actually helps you up here. This is a godsend. Your hero level up event resets for each character, and the rewards for hitting these brackets are pretty substantial pretty those, those are a thousand plus all the activity log stuff that we were talking about you're, you're grinding stuff and getting a couple hundred at best uh through those rewards so this is one of the places i think is the most impactful in terms of if you really need to get your squad rank up and you're only like you know you're one level away but you're really only a halfway because it's you know the experience bar is filled up to here needs to go to here yeah this is gonna be one of your faster and more reliable ways for okay well let me go ahead and switch over to my other character who is getting all the benefits from the squad rank and squad power that i have already okay and you're going to be able to fly through missions very 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 quickly um i've just started really working on this black widow today and in the like two hours i had to actually kind of pay attention and do this yeah, we're almost level 30 already on my main character. Yeah, it took a little bit longer. Took a little bit longer. The impact of the squad power stuff is is good. It's noticeable. Your second character, if you wait to start working on them until you have a real established main and you have already put in all that time in the leveling up your squad power, okay? You're going to get a lot of dividends from that when you go to start that second character. Uh, it's going to feel a little ridiculous how quickly you were able to fly through some of this stuff. And most of your character-specific experience, uh, it comes from a lot of those missions uh, anyway. So it's very quick to level yourself up through that process and then hit all of the milestones for the hero level up event. And, and bam and you're, you're golden and you're just racking up the experience going through this a uh, couple other things that i want to mention that are very helpful in terms of this is that when you go to these new zones on your alt character uh you're actually going to be able to oh, i can't just look the map there you guys are mean um sure shouldn't matter which one we go to because i don't think i've done any of the side missions on this character yet but all of your story missions reset for each character so you get to go through the entire story again all the all the super villain fights and everything but you also get all of those side missions again and while doing those side missions does not instantly give you squad power when you complete them or complete all the ones in the zone you have a chance to get the rewards uh, that will give you squad power books and then you can use those books to level up your squad power um, so the fact that all of those reset and are farmable for your side character is very, very important. But, but doing the story quests and getting those levels quicker will get you squad power experience faster than if I, you know, stopped and made sure that I went and did all of the new Stark City uh, side quests no no my time is better spent going ahead and doing the hydra stuff because it's higher level and getting all of those you know the purple quests basically just just do your purple quests when you're trying to farm uh squad power experience on your alt because you will level up so quickly once you run into walls on that that's when you go back and you start doing you know the side quests and everything or you can just unlock another character and do it that way. You have four characters that you can do this on. 
Um, and then I think it's only 400 crystals to be able to unlock another character slot. So I, if you really need squad power and you already have a main character that has some decent levels on it, alts are going to be your hands down fastest way to get that up quickly. Now, the big thing that I want to make sure to remind you guys of some of the caution that we talked about earlier, you do not want to uh, get all of your, like basically you wanna be careful when you complete challenges and collection stuff that you're uh, turning those in and hitting claim when you were logged into your main character because it is possible that like, parts of your inventory are not shared. There are some, some things that are shared um, for instance, I want to say that the power-up items for squad power are shared between characters, but uh, not really anything else is. So you want to be very careful about collecting those rewards and make sure that you're collecting them on your main character because uh, otherwise you can accidentally claim something on an alt that would potentially be really beneficial for your main character and you know now now it's stuck on that one so definitely 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 be careful about that one <sighs> but i'm outside of that, that that's really really it we touched on in another video really kind of digging into the records a little bit and talking about effective ways to be doing um your activity log and everything that was under our new player tips so i highly recommend you guys go check that video out if you haven't seen it already um, and unfortunately, I'm on my alt character, so I can't look at all these different options and kind of talk about them in depth. We'll probably do another video where we dig deeply into activity log. But I don't want you guys to feel like, okay, well, if I get stuck in the game, uh, the only thing that I should do is immediately start playing another character. No, no, definitely pay attention to your records. Some of the collection stuff is surprisingly easy to wrap up. Um, a lot of these things are just collecting stuff from around the map. Those ones, nice and easy to sync up. Um, and other ones inside of the, uh, not challenges, inside of activity log where, you know, you've got to say, kill so many of these monsters. And these are just bad guys on the map. This isn't your most wanted where you're hunting for boss characters that only spawn sporadically. It, this stuff is still valuable to do on your main a because a lot of the times the rewards for killing them are really great things like that which helps us our uh, on our squad power <clears throat> but it's you you get decent rewards from that so i just wanted to make sure we ended on a note that says hey i'm not saying completely ignore this system because there's a lot of value in this system but there's stuff in here that can take hours to complete so instead of losing that valuable time, there are some ways that you can get squad experience a little bit faster. Um, and outside of that, just really make sure that you are hitting your blitzes on all the characters that you have that can do them every day, because that is one of the most consistent, easy ways to bring in squad experience. Uh, so again, even if you are way over leveled from them, they're, they're still worth and going back and doing. And you can also recycle the stuff that you get from them, even if it's completely useless for you, uh, for other systems that are here in the headquarters. And there's a couple of them that you can kind of feed it into. So we'll, we'll probably do a video where we dig into that stuff a little bit more too. Uh, don't need Kingpin. But yeah, all in all, it, it is a, a very important system and you get a lot of benefit out of the shared power that your characters get from the squad stuff. Um, so I, I really think the smartest way to do it is get your main established, get them up to a decent level so that you're already going into an alt with a good amount of squad power and you're gonna have a much, much easier time and it's gonna go much faster for trying to grab that extra experience that you need because your alts are already so much stronger because of that system. So I'm really loving it. I hope you guys are either playing the game and enjoying it as well, or you're looking forward to its actual release. But yeah, we, we gonna keep just focusing on it for right now because I've, I've played more of this game than any other game that we've covered on the channel this year. Now granted, for about three quarters of the year, we've been doing mostly first look videos. Uh, but yeah, no, this, this is probably the best mobile game I've played this year. For 2021, they say right here. They they killing it. They killing it.
But I think we're going to go ahead and call it there. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate them faces. If you want to help support a smaller channel, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, leaving a comment. All that stuff is really big for the algorithm. And if you want to make sure you don't miss a video, hitting that bell icon is a pretty good idea because YouTube loves to not send out notifications. I can't tell you how many times in the year plus that we've been doing this that I've heard that. Like, oh man, I haven't seen you in a while. YouTube wasn't telling me you were still putting out videos. I, I, I don't know what to, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you, boo. YouTube's algorithm is just stupid. So any support that you guys can give us to try and fight against that stupid soup system, I really appreciate that. And uh, once I find the record button, there we go. All right, y'all, you have to catch your boy in the next one, cause we out of here, deuces.